Hey guys, this is Gibber and how y'all doing? Uh, today I'm working on this fantasy uh, p piece that I'm starting an underpainting. This is on illustration board and I'm painting this right now with uh, black acrylic. The last few pieces before this one uh, ended up, I ended up trashing them and I had started videos for those pieces and so it just kind of kept, it kept setting me back because uh, like I said, I trashed the last two pieces. So I, I got up this morning and I drew this and I was really happy with it. So I went ahead and um, got this one, uh, drew this out on the illustration board and then ended up drawing the girl and I wanted to go ahead and get them, you know, on so I could, um, so I can go ahead and start doing some washes over the top of these. That's my next plan is to do some nice light washes over the top. I've been trying to, uh, not use as many photo references for these drawings and kind of draw more off of my head and you know just to get that just to get that cool feel in the drawing because sometimes I just you know you want to be able to draw from your head and, you know and, and I mean not, not, not that there's anything wrong with using a uh, photo references um, but I just don't want to feel stuck to a photo reference um, I want to be able to draw outside of it and, and be able to do more you know and just really I can sit down and learn anatomy so I know how to, uh, you know, know why things are going, why things go where they go, know how the muscle's going to move whenever somebody's stretching out or somebody's tensing up. You know, because I feel like, you know, I'm what I do, I, I, I'm doing okay. Um, it, it, I, I've been, I feel like, but I feel like I've been faking it for years, you know, and I want to, I want to really get in and know this stuff and learn it so like I've been waking up you know every um, every day and getting in the morning time instead of uh, just getting onto a drawing I've been watching like those Mike Hoffman video and I've been like reading those those two Mike Hoffman books that I picked up and just been trying to do exercises out of that just just to get you know just to work on getting better because I, I, you know, I, I have this thing where a lot of times I feel real stagnant like I'm, things aren't getting better, things aren't getting better. And then I'll do a few drawings that I'm like, oh, I really like these drawings. And then I'm just slumped back down into, oh, right back into it. You know, drawings are going in the trash. Drawings are going in the trash. So I, I'm trying to, you know, just learn something so I can get out of this stagnant area and feel like I'm, I'm pushing ahead upward again with my art. And um, I think a big thing also is, is when you're, you know, because people are like, oh, you shouldn't compare yourself to people. But, you know, it's always good to have an art buddy draw or paint with somebody, someone you can bounce ideas and, and talk and show somebody a drawing and be like, you know, I, I have a problem in this drawing and I can't figure out where where the problem is, you know. And that's one thing I definitely miss about being in a tattoo shop is I had people there to talk to and discuss these 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 situations with. And now it's just me sitting in a in a room, basically looking at a looking at a piece of paper or a canvas or you know illustration board, scratching my head, looking at it in the mirror, flipping it upside down, trying to figure out what's wrong. There's an issue, and I can't figure out exactly where the problem is. So I don't know. Um, but y'all have a good one. Um, thanks for checking out the video. Uh, check out my eBay links. Um, and y'all have a great day. See y'all next video.